I cross my heart. I tear down the firewall. Luna, moon me up, baby. Yes, Azerbaijan's Izel is ready to sing X My Heart at Eurovision 2018. Shall we talk about it? Let's, Let's do this. Luna, moon me up. Cross your heart and say thank you for electro revamps. The revamp of this song has taken it to another level. The original version was very pleasant, very nice. It did slightly underwhelm and pass me by, but with a few subtle tweaks, they have electro charged their jet engine and they can literally Luna moon her up. The song is now so inviting, so friendly, so fun, so warm. And and it wakes you up. I've seen online some people saying, oh, I, this makes it so much worse. To me, it makes it so much better. Yeah. This has gone from kind of middling to really excellent. You could hear this version on the radio. Final point for me, she's got a beautiful voice. Smoky, sexy, real. I can't wait to hear it live. I do think that the electro revamp has done so much to help this song. I liked it enough to begin with. Like It was probably like a six or six and a half. It's gone up since then because it's so much better. It packs a punch now and it didn't before and that makes you overlook some of the issues with the song like the lyrics because a lot of them don't make. Luna Moon Me Up is just so bizarre but it's one of those that people will pick up on and it will be things that will be talked about. Yeah. It's almost ridiculous <laughs> for a reason in a way. I don't think it was but it, it's a wise move the fact that they've kept it in because they could have changed that in the revamp, you know, I think Azerbaijan looked at this, saw, they didn't quite get the reaction they were maybe looking for, and then they went back and thought, okay, let's change it, let's add something, which is what you should do, you should finesse things, and yeah. that's why you announce them beforehand. Um, and you know, it, it's only that one change that they've made, but it's made such an impact, unlike other songs where, you know, you go through so many iterations, mainly thinking of Belarus, but, um, <laughs> you know, it, I, think, I think that really has helped it, and she sounds really 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 good and I'm looking forward to seeing what the staging will be like with this because I can imagine it being a whoa Azerbaijan after a couple of years where they were missing out on things and they weren't quite doing it Dihaj turned up last year really impressed me and I'm really thinking that uh, Izel will do the same and we should point out Izel means moon or path to the moon in Azerbaijani so perhaps that's the play on yeah. Luna moon her up and also Tim Brand the producer of City Lights Blanche fourth place mm. was the man responsible for this electro revamp Qualité <laughs> And still yet so recognisable. So if you like the old version, you're not going to be terribly offended by the new version, If you, even if you don't prefer it. You know, there's still... The core of the song is still very much in there. And it's an earworm. You know, you just... Azerbaijan. Atta... I cross my heart. And tear down the firewalls, the cannonballs. Luna moon me up. Okay. I expect a real firewall. Yeah, it's it, it lends itself to great staging. I must admit, yeah, some of the lyrics can be, but you know what, how many people are going to bring a thesaurus with them to Lisbon? You know, sometimes you just need to let go and just dance it out, you know? It's not, you know, yeah. And, that, and that's the thing about Azerbaijan. It's generic. It's fast food, as Salvador Sobral will call it. But it's cooked well. It's cooked very well. <laughs> no e. coli it's here. Very tasty, baby. Izel, it's tasty. And nothing more <laughs> impressive than an artist who's famous for, you know, sort of jazz compositions and delivery actually trying her hands at something more poppy. And the other way around. It's good to mix things up. It's good to not be so predictable. And she can sing. And her voice is actually very Spotify friendly. It's very, you know, the electro treatment works very well on her voice. I would say just put uh, on, on that whole thing that she is a jazz singer now doing pop though. We've not heard this live, I don't think yet, or at least in a, in a proper version. And that is maybe one concern that can she pull it off? Can she pull off the pop star? Because she is a jazz singer and a very accomplished one at that. You know, she has done many concerts in that guise. You do have that kind of lingering thing, you know, is this, they've put 
They've not maybe thought about the singer and the song, they've just put them together. Whether or not that will gel on stage, I think she'll be able to pull it off, but there is that little concern. Yep. One of her former vocal coaches told me she slays, so yeah. I'm really confident. Mm. And I gotta say, there's that one uh, thing she does, ah, 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 mm. and then maybe that's like a mix with a backing vocalist. It's very powerful, actually, mm. on repeat. And I think the song, you know, it really just repeats kind of three times or whatever, but that's very effective because it means with you can give dynamism to the staging. Yeah. Absolutely. As by Jean Land of Fire, that firewall will become literal. I'm not talking about this kind of firewall, I'm talking oh, about yeah. a wall of fire. Thomas Nevergreen and Shanae, your wall just went up <laughs> in kerosene. Uh. Long story short, my score is an eight. I think that people who previously wrote this off could be very surprised when we hit the ground in Lisbon. Dihaj's staging was magical. I'm hoping oh, for more beyond, of the same. Beyond, beyond, beyond. Her staging was, what, didn't she win most memorable stage? On the Wooey Blogs yeah. Vision Music Awards. Oh, yeah. Give me a score, hun. <laughs> 6.5. And it's, it's a good score for a song that is considered generic. Um, and this is just working on the studio cut. You know, we will be evaluating later on on ground in Lisbon. So our scores may change from the Wee Wee Jury. But currently, based on the studio cut, it's a decent 6.5. It's a 7.5 for me. And it has obviously jumped up from where it was in initially for me. I think it has now overtaken some of the other, maybe more generic-ish pop songs like Finland, for example, and Belarus. P things like that. I think that there is a very good chance that this could do very well for us. By Jean. I did at one point think that it could be knocking on the top three. I now think it's probably knocking top ten, but for me personally, it's around my top five. That's a lot of numbers altogether. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think I think that there is a very good chance that if they bring some really stellar staging like Azerbaijan used to, and they did last year, I think that there is a real, real shot that this could do. This could surprise people. Don't write Azerbaijan off. Right. X my heart, X marks the spot. All right, there of course are dozens of wee-wee bloggers all over the world of many ages, of many ethnicities, sexualities, genders, etc. And the overall average is... 7.22. Look, that's good. Anything above a 7 with a wee-wee yeah. jury is very good because you're dealing with lots of different types of people and music fans. Yeah. So well yeah. done. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you alight with the thought of I sell? Are the flame towers burning bright in your heart? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Are we going back to Baku? Let us know in the comment section what are your thoughts. <laughs> and whilst you're thinking about that, you can subscribe in the meantime because we are going to Lisbon and we will be recording lots of videos for you to enjoy. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye! Bye. Salam Baku!